Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. I thought I'd show you my current chest and tricep workout. And what I will say, even though it is a chest and tricep workout, it's still working my back muscles and my biceps and pretty much every muscle on my upper body. Yeah, some of this is weighted calisthenics, some of it's not. So first off, I'm doing some standard dips with a dipping belt with 20 kilos added. And I'm doing 12 reps of this, and this is very, very intense. For me, I'm trying to push it as much as possible to really tear the muscle fibers as much as possible to really build those muscles to the best of my ability. And make sure when you're doing dips that your elbows and arms are bending backwards, not to the sides, because I see so many people bend them to the side and that's not the correct perfect form and it has a higher risk of causing you injuries. So that's just something to be very, very mindful because I see so many people making that mistake and not doing it correctly and you want to be making sure that you're doing every calisthenics exercise with perfect form and yeah there is a total of six exercises and then I actually add two finisher exercises to the end as well and what I say is I wasn't feeling the best that day but I just pushed through it anyway and just got it done so yeah my strength isn't as good as it normally would be and then the next exercise I'm doing is archer push-ups and I normally do 12 on each side and as you can see I'm twisting my arms, well my, one of my arms and my hands straight out to the side of me. There's people that do different ways with archer push-ups but this is the way that I prefer. And try with this one as well, try and make your elbow go back as much as possible with the arm that is bending and I actually started to do a little different variation of here of going side to side it's something i started doing recently it's actually a lot harder and it's actually a lot more fun and it looks really really cool as well and what i say is with this workout when i'm doing it off of camera i rest for at least 60 seconds and i was doing this sometimes in this video but i didn't want to just stand around for 60 seconds each time because i thought you might get bored but if you wouldn't mind me just talking in the future workouts and standing around for 60 seconds, let me know and I could share some really good information with you during then or if you have any ideas for me. Um, but yeah, so now we are getting the dipping belt again and I've got 10 kilos of weight that I'm about to add to me and I'm using the Smith machine here. And these are Australian pull-ups and the lower the bar is down, the flatter your body is going to be and the harder that it is. So if you're someone that's starting out, just put it up higher and you don't need to add weights as well like I am. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just trying to push it as much as possible. And each of these exercises are absolute killer for me but I don't let my mind stop me at all. I just push through the pain and get it done. And yeah, if you're someone that wants a recommendation for a dipping belt, I put a link down below for a really good dipping belt supplier and producer in case you're interested in that. And with this, as you can see, you wanna keep your body as straight as possible, have your bum engaged, your legs, your abs, your whole entire body pretty much. Very similar to a push-up, but obviously you're actually facing upwards rather than downwards. And you don't want to be flaring your elbows out. You want to be trying bending them back as much as possible. And try and keep your neck in line with your body. Don't have it slightly elevated forward or backwards. And yeah, this is really, really good for the chest, just like all the other exercises. And the last rep. I'm doing it as slow as possible with a hold and then a negative to really, really, really get that burn and fatigue those muscles like crazy. And yeah, sometimes in this workout, I was mentioning earlier, I normally rest around 60 seconds, but it's sometimes that I do not in this video. So it's actually making it more intense for me, this workout, than it normally is. But yeah, that's just the way that it went. So it's all good fun. And now, we are just going to sort out this machine, get a few things out of the way, because the next one we're going to be doing is muscle ups. And what I say is, I normally do 12 reps unassisted 
for the first round. And this whole entire workout, I would normally do three rounds in total. But on the second and third round, when I do it off of camera, because I only show you one round with this one, I will, that just made me laugh at Daniels and that's quite funny that he did that. On the second round, I would normally do as many reps as I can unassisted, and then I will use the black band, which is not as strong as the green band. And then, say for example, I can only do six on the second round unassisted, then I do six assisted. And then the third round, I may just do a few unassisted and then few assisted. Because, yeah, muscle ups are very, very intense, especially when you're doing really hardcore exercises alongside it. So, yeah, muscle ups are one of my favorite exercises. They're really intense for the whole entire body. And as you can see, I'm keeping a fair amount. I used to keep a lot more than this. And yeah, I'm trying to do my best to actually get both elbows up and above the bar at the same time. But as you can see there, one is coming up slightly after the other because it's quite hard. And yeah, because I wasn't feeling my best, I could not actually do 12. So I was just doing the best that I could do. And I'm taking a little breather here because sometimes I will take a breather if I can't do the reps that I need to and then continue on. Similar to drop set, except you're not actually dropping weight, for example. And yeah, just trying to do the best I do. And on this one, I didn't kick well enough and I didn't actually move towards the bar and lean over as quickly as possible. So that's why I couldn't do it then. I rushed a bit, especially because I'm on camera. So I lose a bit of my concentration. And then I go to use the black resistance band, as you can see now. Managed to get one rep up above just about. But yeah, again, my keeping form was not very good then. So yeah, I stopped there because yeah, I just felt that that was enough for me right in that moment. And yeah, just remember sometimes in your workouts you're going to do a lot better than other times due to so many factors and variables. But just do as much as you possibly can and do the best that you can do. And that's all I do in every single workout. There'll be some workouts where for multiple weeks in a row, I will set personal bests on a lot of exercises and other times where I cannot do the best that I can do. So that's just something to be very mindful and aware of. But as long as you notice that you are improving from month to month, then that's fine. But if you find you go to do workouts and you're just not improving at all on a regular basis, then you're probably overtraining the fatigue. So you need to rest more and recover more. So now I'm doing diamond push-ups with 10 kilos of weight. And I'm going to be a bit of a critique here. I would prefer that my head was slightly up higher. But apart from that, the form is pretty good and again as with other push-ups make sure that you're bending your arms back as much as possible rather than completely flaring them outwards because again you can injure your shoulders and that's the last thing you want to be doing and I dropped my bum down a little bit then but yeah I'm just doing the best that I can do in that moment and yeah I did a total of 12 reps for that and I'm telling you that was really, really hard for me to do at that point. And yeah, if within the first two exercises, your muscles aren't really burning at all and you're not in a lot of pain with your muscles, you are not training hard enough. And to maximize muscle growth, you really need to fatigue the muscles as much as possible with calisthenics exercises that are really, really pushing you. Because I see so many people in the gym that do calisthenics and or bodybuilding where they're really not pushing themselves really hard. And then you're not going to tear all the muscle fibers as much as possible, and then they're not going to grow. And yeah, the growing happens when you're actually resting and recovering and sleeping. So yeah, make sure that you're getting as much rest and sleep and adequate amounts of nutrition as well. And your fasting helps you recover so much more because testosterone levels go up really high and human growth hormone which helps repair your muscles a lot quicker and yeah this helps your nervous system recover a lot quicker and helps you get those gains. So now I'm doing elevated wide push-ups with the parallettes 
And yeah, obviously when you're doing it really, really wide, your arms are going to bend a bit outwards, but just try and bend them back as much as possible. And with this, I would prefer that my bum was up a little bit higher and more engaged and that my head is up a little bit more. It's not really, really bad form, but it's not perfect. But yeah, when I was doing it, I was not mindful enough to notice that happening. As you can see, I struggled with that rep a lot. That's why I dipped my bum a little bit. And yeah, this is burning like crazy. I'm having to have a little bit of rest at the top to actually finish all 12. But yeah, pushed through it and got it done. And as you can see on my face, that is definitely very, very intense. So yeah, now I've got my phone quickly to check what the next exercise is because I don't always remember. And yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of a breather and yeah, walking around a little bit to the next one. And what I say is the next one I'm doing is with the battle ropes. I do 30 seconds alternating with each hand and arm. And then after 30 seconds, I switch to moving both of my arms at the same time for another 30 seconds. And what I say is, I don't normally do this on the third round. I normally leave it to the end of the third round to really fatigue the muscles like absolute crazy. So at the end of the third round, I would do three rounds of this, one after the other. So I do this for a total of 60 seconds, rest 60 seconds, and then repeat both of those three times in a row. And yeah. It is very, very fun to be doing this. It makes my physique look really good. It's really good cardio workout at the same time. Really, really good for burning fat. And just the whole workout in general is such an all-round intense body workout that, yeah, just makes your heart rate pretty damn high. So you can burn body fat like crazy. And I did this in a completely fasted state around 4 p.m., and yeah, I managed to easily get through it, even though at certain points my mind wanted me to stop. I didn't let it get the better of me and I just pushed through it because yeah, that's just the way it is in the gym. It's a mind game, not a body game. And a lot of people have a weak mind and do not push through and push themselves hard enough. And that's what I don't see amazing results in the shortest space of time. Checking my phone there a couple of times, knowing when to switch and when to stop and then yeah after i would do that on the third rounds i then go and do some push-ups which you will see in a moment and the reason why i'm not doing it in that room which i could have just done it straight on that floor is because i'm trying to get some rest in between i didn't want to just stand on the spot because i think it'd be pretty boring for you so i'm going completely to the other side of the gym to get a bit of a breather and yeah give you a bit of a different tour of the gym. I was obviously here earlier doing some other different push-ups. I thought I'd show you what my physique is looking like while I'm pretty pumped. You see my muscles are full of blood. And yeah, I've been noticing serious improvements in my physique recently and my body fat dropping below. And yeah, just doing some standard push-ups. And at this point, it's really hard for me just to do a few reps. And yeah, again, make sure that you are bending backwards and my bum again could be up a little higher, so could my head. And yeah, I think I did seven reps. And now what I'm doing is just the down motion. I felt I couldn't do any more full push-ups. And I learned this from a famous bodybuilder, I can't remember who, but he said, if you can't do an exercise, the full range, just do one part of the motion. So yeah, I'm just allowing myself to go all the way down. And then when I come down, I'm just leaning backwards. It's not actually putting any weight on my muscles at all. It looks like I'm doing some specific type of push-up, but yeah, it's not fatiguing my muscles or putting any pressure at them at all. I'm just bending backwards so I can get back up into the push-up. And yeah, you really would not want to be flaring your elbow it's out like I am with a standard push-up position. That would be really, really bad. And yeah, I think the total that I did was around 22 or so. <laughs> and yeah, this is absolutely insane as a finisher. And yeah, like I said, this would be the last 
exercise that I do at the end of the three rounds after the battle ropes. And I just try and do as many as I possibly can. So yeah, we're coming to the end of the workout. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get a lot more calisthenics workout videos to me on a regular basis, calisthenics progression videos, one meal a day videos, and many other different videos to help you gain and maintain the physique, desire, energy levels, and the body as well. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.